Welcome back. There has always been an endless supply of things to do throughout the Bay Area, but did you know that there is a website that has made planning your life a whole lot easier? Joining us now from dothebay.com is Brett Leader. Brett, thank you so much for joining us here on Live in the Bay. Yeah, thanks, Olivia, for having me. This is super exciting. So for those of us who may not know what Do The Bay is, can you give us a little bit of a rundown on what they can expect? Yeah, of course. So Do The Bay is what to do in the Bay Area. You can jump on our website and find everything that's going on today, this weekend, this month. Make your plans, fill up your calendar with concerts, theater, comedy, film, you name it. Uh, I've got all the events going on in the Bay all in one place. It's a locally curated guide. It's not some, you know, computer algorithm pulling all this stuff together. It's a, a small but mighty team in, mm -hmm. based out of San Francisco that's, you know, showcasing the very best events and helping you and, you know, your family and friends find cool stuff to do. How long have you specifically been doing Do the Bay? I've been doing Do the Bay for about eight years now. This is actually my oh. first ever interview talking about it. So, well, yeah. well, come on. We're so happy to be your first interview. Yeah, the Live in the Bay exclusive. <laughs> yes. There's no better place, I promise you that. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so the website and also it's an account, correct? People can follow on social media. Yeah, we've got a few different ways that people can check us out. You can jump on our homepage, dothebay.com. Mm -hmm. You can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Uh, we also send out an email newsletter a few times a week with all the very best stuff. So definitely recommend signing up for that. Um, our Instagram account, we do some exclusive giveaways there. So definitely, you know, follow us and, uh, you know, enter to win some cool stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and we also throw events throughout the year as well. So lots of different ways people can kind of check us out online as well as IRL. Yeah, and it sounds like a lot goes into this to creating these events and showing people all the amazing things to do in the Bay Area. What is the process of finding events and being able to get it out there for people to see? Yeah, so the site actually pulls like hundreds and hundreds of events all across the internet, all in one place. And then we have our local team based here that, you know, kind of handpicks things and, you know, finds all the really cool, interesting stuff to kind of float to the top and to put in front of our audience. And then, of course, we welcome submissions from the local community. So anybody's welcome to just email us at events at dothebay.com and, you know, we can get help them get that up on the site so people can check it out and, uh, you know, enjoy the Bay Area for all it's worth. Well, let's talk this weekend specifically. Yeah. What can people expect that is going to be shown on Do the Bay? All the events that people can attend, maybe this coming upcoming week or month. Anything yeah, yeah. sticks out? Totally. So this weekend, Friday and Saturday, there's a great music and wine festival called Huachica that's uh, going to be happening at Gunlock Bunshu mm -hmm. in Sonoma. It's a short drive away from you know San Francisco. Really beautiful winery. They're going to have a great lineup of music for two days. Uh, there's the Warriors, of course, that are going to be doing a, course, an yeah. indoor watch party at Chase Center. And I think there's still tickets available for that. So wow. check that out if you want to go, you know, be around all the Warriors fans. Uh, Sunday, there's going to be a really cool poolside party happening at the Phoenix Hotel in San Francisco with Toki Monsta, who's a great DJ, going to be performing. So there's, yeah, a bit of something for everybody. Uh, yeah, I mean, I heard music, sports, wine, yeah. food. <laughs> Sounds like you, you have a little bit of everything. What about movies? Any film coming up? Yeah, movies. So, um... We do uh, giveaways for advanced screenings. We actually just did one for uh, the new Jurassic World movie that just came out. And then what I'm really excited about is we partner with SF Parks Alliance, which is a nonprofit in San Francisco, to produce Sundown Cinema. This is going to be our fourth year doing it, and it's in different parks all across the city. Uh, we just had our first event at Dolores Park, and our next one's going to be next Friday at, uh, in the Presidio. We're going to be mm -hmm. showing The Rock. Uh, Ooh. Classic, classic, classic SF film. You can't go wrong with that. And it's totally free, so come on out, you know, bring some layers, bring your picnic, and, mm -hmm. you know, come enjoy uh, a film outside for the night. And what about for those individuals who may have events that they want to bring to you that you can then advertise to others? Yeah, people are totally welcome to email us at events at dothebay.com. You know, send us send us the links and, uh, you know, your flyer, and we can help you get it up there and, and hopefully get some more you know, mm -hmm. eyeballs on it. What about you, Brett? I mean, you said you've been working with Do The Bay now for eight years. Yeah. What's one of your favorite memories or events that you've been to through Do The Bay? So many great events <laughs> over the years. There's one summer I went to 12 music festivals in, wow, in 12. the course of a year, which is like way more music festivals than like anybody should probably ever oh do goodness. in a year. <laughs> I've never heard someone lifestyle. do that many. <laughs> <laughs> but that was a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, we go to a lot of music festivals. You know, we like to really be out in the community and, and just enjoying, you know, live music and, and uh, all the fun stuff going on. Mm -hmm. uh, we had Eric Andre, who's a great comedian at one of our, uh, one of our free shows a few years back that was definitely a highlight 
uh, yeah, there's you know just so so much great stuff to, uh, over all the years. So hopefully, you know, many more to come. And when you think about this, do the bay, this entire idea of okay, this is a social media website that gives everybody all the amazing things to do in the area. Where did it initially start? Because we had a discussion. You said it, it actually stemmed from something else. Yeah, so it actually started as a happy hour guide in Austin, Texas, about 15 years ago. Super crude website, like old school internet, just text, you know. And then uh, from there, it slowly has expanded out. They added Chicago and then the Bay and Los Angeles and New York. And now we're in 20 cities across North America. So if you go visit other places, you know, there might be uh, one of our cities there with lots of events and recommendations to check out. So I use it all the time when I go visit, you know, my friends in New York or my mom mm -hmm. in LA and see all the cool stuff going on to, to check out. I have to ask because I'm, you know, born and raised in Colorado. Do they have one for Denver, Colorado? They sure do. <laughs> Do 303, that's one of our newest ones. Do 303, okay, yeah, so for so all my Colorado people watching, there you go. Check them out, yeah. <laughs> awesome, well thank you so much Brett for joining us on Live in the Bay, and check it out, Do the Bay, if you're ready, we appreciate your time. Thanks so much, Olivia. Absolutely.